Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more Fighter Subscriber, where I have challenged my subscribers to best me in the fine art of fighter design. And my god, haven't you lot been kicking my ass this season? Um, yeah, uh, we're just over halfway now. Six craft have gone. Let's go meet our seventh. This is the KHI F1 Shrike by Mo Kitsune. I had to go and look up how you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, yes, it's the first craft we've seen this round, which uh, didn't win all of its fights during the preliminaries, but uh, still a very capable and very deadly craft. It's a relatively simple delta wing design with the four plane, a welcome little bit of simplicity to the competition. And uh, it's powered by a single Saturn engine armed with uh, four AMRAMs, six Sidewinders and two Vulcans, a break from the usual GAL 22s we've been seeing so far in the competition. I uh, took it up for a test flight and again, simplicity personified. Um, it turns well, it handles well, it's very stable. It's just a good all round solid design, but will that be enough? As ever this season, the first test for the Shrikes will be against my uh, my Red Hawks. We've had a bit of a mixed run so far this season, so uh, let's see what happens here. The competition starts. The Shrikes, not the most manoeuvrable craft we've ever seen, but uh, as I still said, still very capable and uh, very stable, so they're not going to uh, have any problems with spinning out, which... <laughs> If you've seen any of the fights of my lynxes, you'll know can be a real, real problem. Yeah, need to um, need to sort those out. Although they're kind of behind the list on the agenda, behind my red hawks and my uh, my spike tails. Might have to see if I can adjust that. Anyway, yes, the uh, the shrikes are closing the distance down to about oh about th only three kilometers. Get away a pair of sidewinders. Get away a third sidewinder. How much are they set up for per target? Just the two per target. The version of BD Armory we're using for this fight. Turn on the dogfight cam. Oh god, the dogfight cam's not set up properly. Excuse me a second. Two stationary camera, dogfight camera. Oh my god, things are exploding. Things are exploding. I'm still setting up the dogfight camera. Okay, that's better. I swear I'd already set that up. I don't know what's gone wrong here. Maybe I did that on my other install. The Shrike tracking one of the Red Hawks. One of the Red Hawks takes a heavy hit. Nothing fatal, it looks like. Yeah. This... Oh, God, it's one of these cockpits without the um, without the thing in it. Who's in here? Who's in here? That's not the... That's the... Uh, Yosemite Gurman. Okay, Yosemite Gurman trying to track this Red Hawk. Oh. <laughs> this has not been a great fight from a technical perspective, and now the dogfight cam has focused on something entirely else as Yosemite Gurman splits the Red Hawk in half. <laughs> And that's one of the other Red Hawks gone, I think. Um, so it looks like it's just... Uh, yeah. It's just Legged Black Kerman for the Red Hawks, taking a bit of a smattering. Still carries on. No, he doesn't because he's got no engines. Legged Black Kerman carrying on a bit like this fight has. <laughs> Oh, we got there in the end, though. An excellent victory for all the Shrikes. Let's, um, let's move on to the next fight. An excellent first fight there from the Shrikes, although not <laughs> from myself. Um, and now they move on to the Spike Tails, who've had a good run so far, but kind of got shredded last time out. Let's, um, let's get them into the air. The second fight starts, and I'll just check dogfight. Dogfight camera is working. Okay. Well, that's one improvement on this fight already. Three, um, three missiles away, three AMRAMs away from... Oh, God, who's in this one? Josh Kim, I really need to install that IVA mod. Anyway, yes, everybody dodging missiles. It doesn't look like anybody's going to get hit by this. I'm expecting the, uh, the spike tails to avoid them, although <laughs> I've spoken too soon in some fights in the past. Um, yes. So the situation with the leaderboard is a bit complicated. I think everyone in the top four has won all, uh, all three of their fights at the moment. I think... Um, I'll have to check that. But regardless, any a complete loss will see the Shrikes um, out of contention for a spot in the finals here as Ion Kerman. Ion Kerman eyeing up one of the, uh, one of the Spike Tails, but nothing comes of it. Oh, got a craft on his tail. Manages to avoid a bit of gunfire, manages to avoid a missile, comes around. I 
again, not the sharpest turners and the spike tails, they are my most maneuverable craft. One of the spike tails now on Ion Kerman's tail. Ion Kerman managing to give him the, the uh, slip around. Oh my god, one of the shrikes has already gone. I am <laughs> I am really focusing on the wrong fight. Oh, I'm just about managing to come around and ah, couldn't quite get guns to track and now he's in a bit of trouble. The spike tail. Nope, the spike tail breaks off as he has a little bit of gunfire coming himself, but oh, this is looking bad. This is not looking good for the Shrikes. Um, as I said, one clean loss will put them out of contention for the finals places. Comes around, yeah. He certainly gave the spike tail a run around. The spike tail, though, still stuck to uh, stuck to his tail. The other Shrike has gone. I am really focusing on the wrong fights. There we go. <laughs> And that's, that's all we're getting. Three kills, and I just get the momentary one. Oh, God, I'm doing well today. Let's, um, let's move on. The impressive run of the Spike Tails continues, and sadly means that the Shrike can no longer make it into one of the, uh, the finals places on our leaderboard. Although, a little bit of a consolation possibly coming up in the form of my Lynxes, who have been doing terribly this season. <laughs> oh, God, let's, um... And let's get this one going. The fight starts. We're here with Watermelon Kerman. Not you know it due to the lack of a portrait. Really need to install that mod. Comes around. Having a bit of difficulty getting missiles away, apparently. Uh, his wingmen have no such difficulty, but yeah. Watermelon Kerman will need to get something away quickly. He does not want to go into close-up combat encumbered with all those Amrams, because those are weighty little bastards. Comes around. Still plenty of range. Gets away. Wow, that was that was that was all four in at once. Okay, they are set up for two missile, two missile per target, two missile targets. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Closing in. One of the that looks like a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if that's debris, but the uh, but uh, watermelon Kerman is uh, continuing to pump sidewinders into it. Should we go and check on that link? No, it's absolutely fine. Let's move back. Where were we? I think that's Watermelon Kerman there. Oh, and I haven't turned on the dog fight cam. I will get comments. Oh my god, something's being taken apart there. That's one of the... Sh is that one of the Shrikes? No, it's one of the Lynxes. I thought it was one of the... No, yeah. Three versus two in favour of the Shrikes at the moment. That is... Uh, those are good odds. Especially with a target that big. Yeah, it's a huge target, and the engine itself's position far apart, so you take out one of the engines and, yeah, they, they, they spin to their death. Some design flaws there. Anyway, Watermelon Kerman coming around. It's a joust. It's a joust. The uh, the Lynx seem to have the better of the turning rate there, um, but can't make it count. Watermelon Kerman coming around. Yeah. Oh my god, that's another one of that's another craft. What's that? I can't see. I think that's one of the lynxes. Oh, and here goes a twin stream of Vulcan gunfire. Just shreds one of the lynxes there. Yeah, that's that's gone. That is well and truly gone. Leg of that Kerman. The last healthy lynx trying to pull around hard. Can't quite get around hard enough. Jordle. Um, to uh, to get guns onto the um, guns onto the shrike comes over the top. Yeah, the other the other links dis disappears from the vessel switcher, and it's three against one. And yeah, that is that is a large target to present, and the uh, the shrikes shred it easily. Okay, a uh, a decent run from the shrikes. Let's um, let's go and look at the leaderboard. So, the KHI F1 Shrike, a good solid performance from a good solid craft. Um, but if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that with six kills and six survivors, sadly that puts it just a little short on 12 points outside of the places for this season's finals. Yeah, the competition has been really, really fierce this season. My thanks, my huge thanks to Mo Kitsune for this craft. Um, if you want me to fight your craft, I'm afraid entries are now closed for this season. Although I am still doing my regular mailbag stream, so if you want to see your craft fight someone else's, then please, uh, please do send them in for that. And there should hopefully 
yeah, another season of Fighter Subscriber along before too long. We'll have to see what um, the release of uh, KSP2 does with all that. Um, but that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, great KSP and BD Armory community on there and more beside. All those links in the description as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal like the ones I've been using here today as well as uh, your name at the end of videos, access to the only Discord and some other stuff I'm trying out. Um, yes, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.